de qué están hablando yo, so. Pero así, güey. Chao. You want me to zoom out? No, así nomás como está regular. Así, Hasta las subes, güey. Así. Hasta los subes para que no me llegue. O oh, watch me web. O oh, watch me nene. O oh, watch me web. Web. Yeah, who started? You starting, Pero vente, métete aquí más. No, güey. La cámara. No, eso no importa. Ahorita no importa el chat. Estamos aquí presentando con el con el compito aquí. Bla bla bla. Y entiendo. I'm ready. I'm ready to work. Yeah, man. We about to get this. I already know the fuck about this boy. Estamos aquí con el compito y we just signed. Le dimos unos wings y unas unas. Shout out Escape Radio. We're back. And watch me whip, whip. Watch me, Nene. No, no, no. cosas, güey. Nah, así puede ser. Y así ya ahí le seguimos a ver cómo. A la verga. All right, bro. Yo, you guys ready? We did the Nene. You're born ready. Yo, warm up like the, like high school musical. Como the Sharpay. We're born ready. Yo, vamos a darle. You guys ready in three, two. Oh, we gotta check phones and shit. I love it. Yeah. Alright, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another podcast episode. Estamos en el episodio número 53. Chao, chao. Chao, chao. Saludos a toda la raza. Estamos aquí con ustedes. Estamos presentes para toda la gente que nos andan viendo ahí through our YouTube channel. Chao. Yo, this is your co host. Somos cuatro. Yo, yo boy Adolfo Hernández. This is your boy El Quema Mucho el Sol. Your boy Joe. And this is your boy Omar from 973. Y ya se la saben a la verga. Y el mejor para lo último, Lumbre. Follow us um, on Instagram, Lumbre Candy. Chao. We got my boy Lumbre aquí que nos viene a acompañar aquí en, en este episodio porque, you know, he got some topics that he would like to share with everybody. But yo, welcome back. Yo, don't forget for all the new listeners that are coming back, like, come, subscribe, apoyanos. También, ya estamos en Spotify, ya estamos en esa plataforma. So, también vayan a chequear el nuevo episodio número 51, 52, también ya casi va a salir. Y empecemos también. Yo, we got like, we're going to do a lot of surprises for the following episode también. We got new sponsors that we're going to hopefully mention in the following week. But vamos, vamos a empezar este episodio. Sí, vamos a empezarlo, pero también quiero darle un, un... I just want to give a big shout out, a big thanks to my boy Beto. Because Ooh. he killed it. He killed it with this movie. That we just... Uh, make sure you go to YouTube, El Escape Radio. And make sure you go to uh, Chapter 1. Yeah, chapter one. Make sure you follow. Make sure you go watch chapter one because yo, it was a whole. It was literally a movie, but behind the scenes it was crazy. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit further on the episode. But big shout out, big thanks to El Compa Beto, yo. Ay, saluditos, si o no, compa Omar. Yeah, man. Uh, y, y otro, este, compa, que I want to give a quick shout out to, este, is Miguel Imperial 973. You know, we appreciate him to the fullest because he created our, our logo and it looks mad crispy. And, bro, se vienen más cosas más pesadas because, yo, he, every time I tell him, yo, try to create something dope for me on the shirt, ese wey se la, se la avienta y lo hace, wey. Which I think, Adolfo. Nah, it was dope, man. We appreciate Beth for filming with us and taking the opportunity to work with us um, we'll talk about that a little bit and también Miguel because you know showing love showing support and we, we got some upcoming projects with him too some live streams that definitely are going to come up during September during October but you know the Maybe the following week, también, we're going to also release the next live stream that's coming up. Hey. Woo. But, yo, let's talk about a little bit about the live, sh um, about the small film that we did with Beto. How did you guys feel the experience? Uh, you know what? I'm going to give you a, 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 what's it called? Like a, like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a fax? Like, um... What do you call it? Like um, a film? Like behind the scenes? Oh, they yeah. Got, we, oh, that, we're going like to do a everything. blog behind the scenes on what we did during that shoot. Like a fun fact, baby. Yeah, fun, fun fact. fact so, yeah, fun uh, fact. Basically, on my, yeah, as you can see, well, I, I do ride a motorcycle, right? So I, 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 have, I have my endorsement on that, everything. So the plan was uh, me riding a motorcycle, right? And everything. But the thing is that I, the motorcycle had technical difficulties. It couldn't ride. So I would just took it out outside the... 
Well, it was parked. Te regañaron, uh, dijeron que no, 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 ya, they don't want you to ride that bike. Yo, it, it didn't turn off, bro. So, I don't know what's wrong with the motorcycle, I gotta check that on. But literally, so I just, I basically, like, cap. But you know, yeah. but like yeah. trying, trying to ride on that shit, but so what, yeah. in reality, I didn't roll it. Yeah. But it's my shit. I have an endorsement just to make that to make clear. Um. Yeah, that's it, bro. Yeah. Yeah, by chap chapter two, we'll, we'll, we'll have you riding the chapter motorcycle. two. You're gonna have me riding on a slingshot, though. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> that's it. No I cap. Feel like, I feel like for my scenes, and I feel like I, the video it started with me a little bit. Um, it was kind of difficult because I wanted to see Adolfo or either Joe first, because um, a lot of I'm not used to people actually recording me and um having the light on me. Like yo, Omar, do it again. Yo, do it again. Yo como soy un poco impaciente, se me hace difícil. Hey, hey, and you, I, know what, you know what the thing is that? that I, I'm sorry if I jumped into it, but like, you say you're not comfortable, but you went in, inside the liquor store, you I'll know. I was about to bring that up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, so, not that player? We, we were going, I, I went to the liquor store, that was my scene, and I was obviously, I was just like, like a little bit shy, just because, you know, people, even the owner, they were just watching us, the, the salesman, they were just watching me, but they let me do my thing, and salió chingo on my scene, at least on, I felt happy with my scene. Shout out to the liquor store, though. Yo, yo, and shout out to Beto, because he, he made yo, you comfortable. Yo, can, can I ask you guys, will we go back to the liquor store to let, show them, like, what we did? Ooh, that'd like, be great. You know, be like, yo, yo, we just want to say thank you. You know, we'll buy you a pack of beer so you can drink later. I want to do that because they're like, yo, I want to get money. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <You're gonna> get, <laughs> get, oh, like copywriting shit. Yo, but the thing is that we want to lumbre on that song. Um, I mean, on that movie. What was you at that day, bro? Yeah, word. Don't tell, tell us. Tell us. Where you at? <laughs> yeah, where were you at, yo? Where were you at? <laughs> we were blowing, yeah, we were blowing your phone and nada, boy. Yo, yo le llamaba, le llamaba. We had came to an agreement that we were going to record that day, but I, mean, I, up, I, I had plans for that day, so then I didn't, I didn't make it. But I, for next one, definitely. Uh, chapter I feel, two. I feel like the you chapter two is going to go crazy. We're for going crazy. Like I already said, I'm going to be on a slingshot, no cap. Uh, creo que va a haber como five slingshots. Ooh. Ooh. En el highway ahí. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> That's just crazy. Yeah, but it was a nice experience because uh, the concept about it was just us coming back from uh, from season one, which is a, a 50 episode that we try to do with season two. So we were trying to do this movie for us, for us basically, and for you guys, so you can be entertained because se escaparon con una buena vibra, ya saben, con un buen ambiente. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it because we enjoyed it filming it. Also, we want to show the side of our town, which is Passate. It was beautiful. Hopefully, y'all enjoy with that. Uh, hopefully, yeah, I go back in 10 years and be like, yo, that used to be, yeah, used to be Monroe, that used to be Maine, like, um, you know, yeah, well, maybe, something like maybe that. Maybe in 10 years, it'll be the, the mural, same. The mural, the mural, when estaba la virgen, that was, yo, that was so a nice dope. shot, too. It was, it was so dope. It was a nice experience for us because that was our first time, like, acting. Yo, word, it was right? my, it was our first time doing everything. Like, yo, we had a, um... I'm guessing other people they probably had to do like 20 takes. Yeah. But nosotros it was just a short film, but if we make another script, it was natural. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah. don't you think <laughs> actors? <laughs> yo, that's yo. What's crazy? We wait. Nah, what's crazy? See, we see, with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven hours, bro. But you got to see how many Siete locations horas. we went to, though. Oh, yeah. We that went to a lot of locations. We did actually fast. Yeah, because everything wow. was so close. But, like, if we try to, like, shoot something in New York, it was kind of, like, a yeah. um, little more difficult porque no sabíamos dónde podíamos hacer algo y cómo lo podíamos hacer. So, in a way, Beto kind of, like, you know, guide us. Like, you know what? Let's do something in New Jersey right. first, and then we'll do something else in New York. But it was nice. It was a nice short film that we wanted to do something and something different that other people won't haven't done you know and different types of podcasts so i hope you guys enjoyed it yo by this episode 75 we'll probably do chapter two Ooh, you know yes. we'll, we'll see what, 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 yeah yes, <laughs> so think, i was like if I, we're gonna do an nyc i feel like i have an idea on how right. i walk my shit yo, yeah, we gotta start working on that we started we gotta start kicking on it yeah maybe yeah. write a scripts poco a poco and then we right. will be like you know what let's focus um we'll hope we get lumbre in there yeah <laughs> definitely yeah, yeah. 
Lumbre on that shit. We'll have Lumbre. We'll have um, Perrier. I'm I'm guessing more people going to be like, you know what? Let's fucking do it. Yo, I saw what you did in chapter one. Yo, I would like to be in chapter two. For you know, sure. let's see what we what surprises we have. That's yeah, guys, thank shit. thank you all of you uh, who watched the uh, um, the movie. If you haven't watched it, just make sure you go to Escape Radio Chapter One. Ahí va a estar. Enjoy. You make sure you got grab your popcorn, your beer, your coke, or whatever you have, and enjoy that movie because it's something that we're just gonna start fresh. Y después ahí vamos a ir más para allá. Something que se va a mejorar al tiempo. Simón. But um, I, I, I had a topic, bro. Yo, I want to break the ice, bro. Before you break that ice, <laughs> talking about ice. Yeah. Let's talk about this summer, yo. Oh, summer oh, is shit. Here. We are already on July. 2023, yo, estamos más de sweating down here, man. I'm sweating already, yo. Look, like, I, I see my boy, Adolfo, sweating on his back, yo. Todo mi, yo, Damn. yo, as I'm getting older, I'm sweating more, yo. I don't know why. I want to ask, basically, this is summertime. I want to ask, uh, coming from Omar, from over there, hasta acá, how's your summer been doing? Mm. Has it been good? What y'all been listening to? What y'all been doing? And uh, what are your plans, basically, man? I feel and like, for me, yo, like, summer just, obviously, it started, I want to say, June for me. Obviously, that's when the season of the hotness started and shit like that. But, like, for me, summer has been a little bit, like, I feel like once you get older, it's it starts getting difficult for you to go out just because I work and trabajo afuera. Hey, este, el calor me, I don't like el calor tanto, so I like being inside with the AC and staying cool. Obviously, <laughs> I love, obviously, I love beaches and stuff, but cuando se, se da para ir, you know, boy, but todavía no he ido. But um, so far, just trabajando, este, echando para pa adelante, este, tengo unos proyectos que yo quiero cumplir, uh, aside of the podcast, and, um, just keep growing, you know what I'm saying? How about you guys? Damn, that's dope. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, my summer, you know, it just has been all work so far from the beginning. I know it's like we're still in the middle of July and getting close to August. But um, it's always, it's just been working, you know, working on this project, the, the podcast, a full-time job. And also getting my full-time I'm um, working on a new position that we're trying to set for the company. And you guys seeing it, a new setup and shit. Um, so far, I haven't um, been able to go to the beach, hopefully, maybe in a couple of weeks. I want to take my mom, dad, go to the beach and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm feeling summer right now, but the weather hasn't been great tampoco. You know, it's been raining Saturday and Sunday. Y más aparte, like, like... The contamination. Yeah. And, you know, like, I wanted to go last Saturday to the to the beach, but I'll say, okay, it was going to rain and then didn't rain and then it changed and yeah. sepa lo que está pasando, la verga. Pero ojalá yo, you know, it's still the beginning, so let's see what, what, what we have in store and shit. Si, ya se va a acabar. Nah, so, like, I feel like every other year, you know, um, you enjoy it a little bit more, but like everybody has said, like, it's just work full of work you know, trying to work on other projects that we have, like the Lumbre. Uh, we have event. We've been having events lately, and you know, just coming up with ideas. I got. I got a new position at work also. Jeez. Uh, as a, oh, as a boy, yeah, man, my boy doing big moves. Big moves. Um, I I'm a car salesman now, so if anybody ever needs help or assist in any way for new cars, used cars, uh, I work at. Rule 46, Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge. So, you know, give me a call. I'm there. Just ask for Chris, and I'll gladly help anybody that looks for me. And then, you know, let's just try to enjoy summer as much as we can because, you know, it's a little bit more of hours and everything. So, just make the best out of it. Ciao. Damn, so every yo, y'all someone's been, so far has been whack. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Man, it's been Shit. whack. Yo, what the fuck? I think it, after you grow, it's like you don't even enjoy summer anymore. No. It's all about work. And you don't even pay attention to if it's winter, like summer, spring. You don't even pay attention nah. to the seasons anymore. Like right now, you know, like you just go day by day. Yo, facts, yo. Your routine and that's it. 
Yeah. Y eso que nosotros somos este, latinos, estamos esperando el pinche carnas. Well, that's crazy. Yeah, but so far, mine, so far, let me, ch let me tell you like this. Even you, y'all can uh, identify with it. So, balls be sweating. <laughs> For the girls, titties be sweating. In general, back be sweating. Everybody, everything be sweating, yo. It's been crazy, yo. Yeah, so, it be so hot, you know. It's, it's been so it's hot not, that it's um, not even cuddle season or anything like that. <laughs> so, like, personally, I, yeah, personally, I'm I did I didn't fight with you guys because uh, I I just be working as well. Uh, I have my part time as well. So, from job to job, uh, then after that, I do the gym. Then after that, I just go home, and then after that, I just eat. And you know, uh, the fucking uh, American dream, I guess. You know, but you can get to enjoy shit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hopefully, hopefully, August, you know, is my, is my, you know how they call it, is my birthday month. So hopefully it goes well that month because I already have some plans. I'm going to travel. I'm going to be out. I'm going to be, you know, enjoying the sun. You know, we're going to be a little more quiet here. Ah, shit. Yo, we're going to need more lights on this, bro. Oh, damn. So that I see, because I'm going to be a little bit quiet. Oh, fuck. I'm going to be on my phone, you know, in the beach, you know. I feel like, yo, in the camera, I'm the only light one, yo. Not talking shit. But yeah, bro, so far, summer. Yo, 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 yo. We... Yo, but yo, I, I gotta uh, attach into um, connecting or putting with the same agreement about summer. Don't you think a lot of people just focus on their vacation? Like, like I haven't gotten a vacation. Like, like, Cap, all right, Cap, like, Cap. all right, I went. Damn, Florida. You I just just in Florida. Yeah, but that was bro. actually my official first getting out of the state, getting to know a new state. But you um, still, you still took a vacation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took a vacation, but uh, I'm not going towards there. I'm going towards. I'm already planning my next trip somewhere else. You know, I don't like. We have beaches in New Jersey, but I'm not planning to try. I'm not hype about going like. Long Branch Como or siempre. Asbury Park or Seaside. Como siempre va a haber uno que humille, pero uno a, tra no, a trabajar. Is, is, is no, para mí. Pues, no, 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 but I'm saying like, I'm saying like, <laughs> like, tell them where you're going. Uh, well, you going. Go tell them what you're doing. They don't know. They don't need to know. Ah, yeah. No, la montaña de los se me hace a mí lo, lo mejor del okay. mundo. Man. No, but I'm saying, don't you think the style no, now man. is... Well, damn, they all disagreeing with me, with me now. Don't you guys think that people they they're more hype when they're vi um traveling somewhere different, like something new that you they haven't like gone to? Yeah. Exactly, you should like, be hype because um you gotta step out of your regular routine, your comfort zone. Now your comfort zone also, but your your regular routine, you know, from work to your house to your house to maybe you go to the gym or maybe you have some other activities. So you want to step out of your comfort zone, mm -hmm. uh, of your regular routine, and just you 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 get excited like I need a I need a a break a break. Like what so, were you like? Let's say I take a vacation, I don't go nowhere. Yeah. You do you feel like? I should have never just. I should have never took the vacation. No, because mentally, physically, you probably need that. Mm -hmm. You know, I, you you get older and um and get lazy. And you you get lazy, so, but he yeah. took vacations. He went to Florida. I yeah, where my vacations. Where your vacation? Where your vacation? I had to work a two weeks at a different job because I was about to leave my current job. Mm -hmm. I was gonna leave from there, so I went to do two weeks at another spot. So, uh huh, and then right now I'll go back to my old job. Ya no tengo vacaciones. Oh, so you went to year. so you went to do a tryout uh -huh. on a vacation. Yeah, so a lot of people do that. Si yeah. no they they want to try something new, so instead they'll be like, "Yo, I need uh, let me take a vacation." But in reality, you're trying a different job. Or like so last without, week, like like last week, like last week, I was on vacation for like my the company and stuff like that. Obviously, I got paid twice, and then this week a third time. Como siempre, un millón. Pero, <laughs> <laughs> Pero, no, no, es, que, es que mira, güey, aquí se divide, la, aquí hay niveles, para allá hay niveles. No, es que, 
Mira. But los días que, you know, obviously yo decidí trabajar unos par de días porque, you know, estando en casa, obvio, yo no lo, I don't take it as a vacation, but simplemente como un break de trabajo. Right. But el día de mañana que yo decida, oh, chinga su madre, me voy para Cancún con mi, con mi vieja o or este California or somewhere in state I'll do it and I'll enjoy it but as we'll see I'll, I'll spend and have a good time nice you know you want to say something right yeah, oh, what's up what's up yeah you, you yeah porque te dejaron a platicar ahora deja otro que platique cabrón what you mean platica ya mierda <laughs> Nah, that's not, we, we talk we should talk like that guys so I see but I want I want to break the ice though cause break the ice boy yeah nah cause that's the yeah I've yeah, been talking too much so I need to break the ice I bet, break yo for everybody watching I need you guys to comment down cause esta madre va a ser un pinche real a la verga oh shit real what time you guys chew, think, chew, chew. what you guys fucking think when you guys order food and someone dip double dips on your ranch <laughs> I didn't even know that existed till Yo, like now. <laughs> I need a, I need we're gonna start from that side now because he started from here to there and now we gonna switch it now. Yo, so Joe, what you think about double dipping? Man, be honest. I'm gonna be honest, bro. Uh it is del pueblo. I was gonna say that. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, bro. If it's if it's someone that I'm close to I know, I know them. Is you know that's bro right there. That's family. Uh, I'm not gonna mind, bro. So I'm not gonna mind. So you because when I was when I was when I was young, I used to play soccer with with my friends, with my boys, and we had the two liter cokes, and we didn't have no cups. We used to go, you know, oh, share. each one share it. What what do you call that? That's sharing lips. Well, yeah, but uh, I mean, it's it's worse. It's worse than double dipping, kissing. I guess. That's, that's kissing. Like, <laughs> you kiss me saliva so, right there. Now, if you know someone that I just barely know, and yo, what the fuck? Like, why you double dip my shit, yo? I don't even know you like that, yo. Um, it's a controversial topic for me, so. <laughs> at the end, at the end of the day, <laughs> la verdad. At, the la end verdad. Of the day, at the end of the day, yeah, I care about double dipping. Don't fucking double dip your shit because if you double dip my shit, I'll smack the shit out of you, boy. So stop fucking double dipping shit, boy. <laughs> Get that shit. Okay. Get it. I, I definitely agree with Joe. Like you know, as much as we're boys, we're cool with each other. You could be my family. Me personally, I don't share food, and if I share food with you, that's because I don't like it. I don't get mad at you. Uh, uh -huh. But that double dipping, like yo, it's my it's my ranch. It's my blue cheese. You y, y tú vengas y, and like you bit your wing already, and then you dip it again <laughs> in my blue cheese. Yeah, 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 that's straight. disrespectful. Like no, like no cut. That pasado. <laughs> so you know like me personally it's just i wouldn't do it to somebody so i wouldn't like it done to me that shit yeah, yeah, man yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's cool uh, no names no no names but ya vas güey that's tu opinion i have to skip because you know nah. 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 speak speak so yeah 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 agree double dip is no good right yeah, i don't know it's oh. not good for anybody no, pues, la cagué, pues. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to be like, I double dip. <laughs> Yo, I double dip, pero porque, you know, I didn't see no more ranch. <laughs> and I want a ranch So I grab And like yo You know what That let me. That, everybody using that ranch You know Let me Everybody that ranch. Yeah. Yo that ranch they, It didn't come to your mind Just grab the sauce And just Dip it uh, Like Throw it Throw it on, on the wing Instead of just Dipping that shit on it Nah Yo oh, no so, you're, you, so you think you see yo You don't give a fuck Simon But you think Okay Like that's us That's with us Yeah like, that's you know, Maybe we're cool but what if you did that somewhere else and somebody told you something? Maybe I wouldn't touch anybody's shit if I didn't know them. <laughs> Pero como te conozco, no, pero como los conozco, maybe por eso I felt comfortable. Like, I right, bet, you know what? Let me but you know, it's like, 
I don't know. Just like I told you. So you're not close to me? No, nah, I'm saying. <laughs> okay, the, the, the agreement, wait, wait. The agreement was like, cool, if you're boys. Even if we're cool, if we're boys, family. Oh, no, wait, whatever, actually. I don't care. Yeah, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Because you, you, you did say that. You did say, he did say that. Yeah, but we he grow, don't care we, if you are boys or anything. We grown ass men, though. He, he hates double dipping. You said. We grown ass men. We ain't no kids no more. So, and Messi, you Maybe won't, you got no respect. So for the wrench. You want, you want to let me show your wrench? Bro, I'll double dip your shit, bro. I'll double dip your shit, too. Let's go one more, because this shit getting like a little bit. There's some tension there. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. I feel like my opinion. I feel like. No, nah, no, nah, nah, my opinion is that double dipping is a no no. Reasons why, I'm especially put, if. I'm about to put this glove on. Especially. But I wasn't attacking you, though. Especially. Yeah, you double dip the mind. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought him a whole pack of wings, yo. Give Damn, me, yo, go, go show him. Uh, para disculparme y toda la verga. Yo, so double dipping for me is a no no, especially if you have blue cheese and you have wings. Because if you have wings and you have your personal, you know, whatever sauce that you enjoy. That's your personal you're vibing, sauce. Yo, you're vibing. Like, yeah, you're and you and especially if you enjoying it, you munching, and de repente otra persona dips it on your on your ranch where you already dipped so many wings on it. I'm gonna be like, yo, just keep that. Bro, see, no, see, no, see, no, see. No, but, but yo, but, but let me ranch, bro. Bro, bro, let me let me ask something. Let me wings in. Hold on, let me let me say something. Let's say you have ten people. You order pizza. You order wings. Y nomás te trae una pinche salsita. All those people gonna be double dipping. Nah, you pour some. Lo van a, no, lo van a echar el culpa que hizo la orden. Nah, he just wants to be right. Pa' qué diablos te mandaron nomás una salsita. <laughs> so, who, who's, the, who's the one that ordered the salsita? Si, no te tocó, no te tocó. If you're you smart, either you grab that only sauce for yourself. Or you open it and you uh, just smear it on your on your on your wing. That's it. Ahora, ahora, ahora sabemos but when we ordered ordered like ten yeah, sauces, now. twenty now. sauces. Let, let, let us know your opinion. Like, be serious. Be be real with you and with us. Like, it doesn't matter if you double dip. It doesn't matter if you don't. We're not judging anybody, but just let us know. <laughs> do you double dip or you don't? If if you do, if you don't. Tell us why. That's that's what we need to know. Nah, but I agree yeah. with you guys. Like if, if the, the double dip, the, the, the double dip. If you are a stranger, yeah, but like if you know your boys, like oh I man, my boy wanted ranch. Respect for me. That's the thing. Oh. That's what I got out of it. Damn. Because of a ranch. Bro, it's just things that go to it. Ni fuera que ranch era tenga feelings. Bro, how about we start out with a with a, with a match fight? Si ya lo puedo, ya lo compré sus wings, le, hasta le pedí perdón. No, es que... <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué más quiere? The lo thing, compro otros 20. The thing is, you don't know how people are, though. Like, what if... Yeah, what that if, was our uh, first, wasn't that our first time eating wings together? Yeah. With pizza? So yeah. that was the first one. So what am so I? So the fir first, is mis first mistake. What am I? The first time when you meet me, yo, don't well, double dip in my wings because I don't like that. Is that how I'm, I'm supposed you, to introduce myself? No. Yeah, I, I would have said that shit. I mean, you, that shit. I mean, you will probably have to. <laughs> All right, so let, let's just so leave people it. people understand, like, yo, I, I hate people double dipping. Let's so just leave it as a, as, a, as a fuck up. My boy did. All right. Primer error, ya no va a pasar. Siento no. Damn, my boy. How, how many sauces you got this time? Oh, tráeme el pinche paquete para que vea cuántos. No, tráeme el paquete. No faltaba, y no faltaba que te importe. Tráeme el paquete. Que me lo traigan. If you don't know what we're talking about, just make sure you go otro pedo vlog, which is number what? Number number four. Otro pedo. What number four? How many number four do we already did? Otro pedo four. I think it's otro pedo four. Yeah, just make sure you go on the latest vlog on Escape Radio and you already know. What are we talking about? Right? It's a brought the bag. You know, I bet so many. Eat us as a, as a, as a, oh, no, wrong bag. <laughs> <laughs> you already know what bag is bringing, yo. Uh, uh, yo. Uh, I want to talk about, I know I know we coming back. Because it's, it's uh, like an every, everyday topic that we talk. But it's relevant. It's something that people are listening to. It's something that uh, it's always going to be out there for the people. Talking about music, we're talking about Mexican genre. We're talking about the three biggest artists right now in the Mexican genre that are killing it, corridos right now. 
two major people right now just drop albums and another group that be, they've been thrown album which is legend in my opinion i just want to know your opinions what you think about just rating from who's your top one who's your second as your third and that's it we got fuerza regida pa que hablen pa que sigan hablando part two we got Genesis, Peso Pluma, and we got Nata Montana, the Natanel, the Natanel Cano. What's up, Omar? Damn, man, starting the middle. Nah, so for me, um, I always said it, and I'm gonna just keep saying it. Um, I feel like right now on top is Peso Pluma. Este, I'm not a Natanel. He's the he's the goat. So I'm gonna put him on two, and then three is Fuerza Regida. And reasons why, because 